Making conscious choices, repeatedly, informed choices, is the only way to get to different results. We've all heard the phrase that uh, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results is insanity, and to achieve a different outcome, you need to perform different actions. And people understand this intellectually, they get it, right? But they don't get it internally, and so not getting this internally derails them before they even start whatever goal they're setting out to do. And that's what I want to talk about in this, in this video this week. So stay tuned. I'm Kim Bissell. I'm a summer therapist and a summer trainer, which is kind of like a physical therapist, but uh, more. And it's all underneath the osteopathic model. Um, and I work with people a lot with therapy and exercise program to achieve a different result. And so I get to have a lot of great interactions with people. It's one of the, the benefits of my business. I get to really know people, and I like people, so it's great to get to know them. But I can also start to tell, because I've been around people for a long time, when they're going to succeed and when they're going to fail. And I always hope that I'm wrong when they're going to fail, but unfortunately, uh, most, most oftentimes I'm, I'm correct. When they're going to succeed, I see an openness, a sense of humor. Uh, it's, not, it's not easy, right? they still have to work through things, but I don't see... Uh, a, a, a wall shut down on, on them in terms of what they can do. I do see that in people who don't succeed. So as I'm talking to them, you can see just a wall start to come down of fear and uncertain and uh, fear of what's going to happen, right? They're afraid because they don't understand what I'm saying totally. And they also start to think, oh, I'm not capable, which leads to like some uncertainty, confusion, and all of a sudden they're, they're stuck in this, this thing and they believe all that to be them, right? And now they can't think straight, they can't uh, uh, ask questions. Whenever they go do an exercise or I, we go do treatment, they're not, they're not allowing the process to happen. And it's all because they fear being uncomfortable. They wanna feel safe and understand everything they're doing and what's gonna happen. But that is not life. And that's not the way to achieve something different. If you choose to do something different, you have to allow that process to change you. You can't choose to do something different and expect that you're going to know uh, how you're going to feel and think throughout the process. You have to accept that you're going to be uncomfortable. Uh, Seth Gooden wrote in his book, The Dip, about uh, to become a doctor, uh, the dip to become a doctor, the uncomfortable part is taking organic chemistry. I've never taken it. Doesn't sound too pleasurable, but it, it causes a lot of people to doubt themselves. I'm not going to get this. It's kind of boring. I don't know. But if they can kind of get through it and start to realize more of who they are and learn and complete the course, well, now they come out the other side and more likely it's going to be easier to become an MD. Same thing for lawyers going through law school. Same thing for entertainers who get agent rejection. It doesn't matter what your choice is. Uh, you need stress in your life. Not too much stress, but not too little either. You can't just sit in your little bubble and hide yourself from the world and the things you have to do to progress as a human being. You have to accept that stress in your body and learn to adapt on yourself. That's how you achieve what you want. When you went and got your career, you had to go through some stressful situations to achieve your career. Uh, graduated college, stressful situations to achieve something. Uh, trying to work on a new body, stressful situations to achieve something new. You have to allow that process to happen and change you. If you don't allow yourself mentally, emotionally to be uncomfortable with the process, then you're not allowing yourself to do something different to get different results. And you're, you're expecting to get different results, stay in that same mental, emotional state, which as we know is insanity. You're not allowing the process to work. Take my business, for example. So like I said, I'm a therapist and I'm a trainer, and I work more holistically. I work with more the cause. It's called etiology. So it's more complex. There's a lot more going on. I take in a lot of different considerations. It's not linear at all. But most people who come to me, because the system we have here, especially in the United States, is more linear, more symptom-based uh, uh, programs or actions they do. Uh, neither one is better than the other. They both have their place, 
but I would say most people, especially when they come to me for uh, correcting injury or getting stronger or more balanced or less pain, they need more of the complex type program. They need more holistic because what they've been doing linearly through PT or chiropractic or doctors has, has either not worked or stopped working. So when I take them into a therapy and exercise program that's more holistic, it's a little surprising. <laughs> it's a little surprising because we're now working, one, uh, more than just the area they talked about, we're working the whole body, and two, I start to target areas that they haven't used before and have become pathologically tight or weak or dry or a combination of three. And so it's surprising what it feels like. I know because 18 years ago, I felt the same thing when I went through it, right? So when I went through this program before I became a practitioner in this program, I was a little surprised by how challenging it was and the places I felt it. But one of my superpowers is that the uncomfortableness of staying stagnant where I am is much greater than the, uncomfort than the, than the uncomfortableness to move forward. So I allowed the process to change me. And the process changed me, obviously physically, because now I corrected what I want to do, but more importantly, helped me grow as a human being. All right, like, oh look, I'm more, I can do more, I connect more to my body, I can I expand who I am, right? And it's not to pat myself on the back because it's not just me, anybody who walks through my doors and allows the process to, to change them ends up being changed, so it's, I see in, the, in them too. Eventually, not allowing yourself to be changed by the process is going to lead to you quitting. So now, you've quit the new thing that could have helped you. And you've quit and you've made yourself feel a little better mentally, emotionally. Because you quit and you stopped and you took yourself out of that stress. So you didn't feel that stress anymore. And maybe you became a little attached to your ego and felt kind of righteous about it. Well, I know more about my body and what to do. But to be honest, you didn't right? You're reacting to what you thought you knew, which is based on fear, uh, based on fear, different forms of fear, right? Capability, what's going on. You allow that to dictate your actions. So it wasn't really you making the decision. It was your fear. And then after you quit, and then after you feel good for a little bit, then you start to feel bad. And you start to feel bad because you have not achieved what you want, which means now you have the pressure from that. There's no getting away from stress and pressure. And then it's, at the same time, you've now made it a little bit easier for yourself to quit the next time. And now maybe quitting becomes part of your identity, which is super sad. I don't want that for you. I want you to recognize that you have to allow yourself to be open for these things. You are so much more than you can imagine, and you're so much more capable. You just have to allow that process to change you, and you have to continually accept over and over again at each moment to allow that process to happen. We've all heard about the people who have took themselves from nothing to the heights of humanity. We've all heard about we only use a small percentage of our brain. We all understand these things, but you have to internalize that into you and go, look, I'm obviously, what I think and feel is not totally me. There's obviously more to me than I can perceive right now. And the only, th the only way to do this is to go through situations that put stress on me, that help me to activate more of who I'm inside. I have to allow that to come out. And then once I get through the process, I get to experience and feel and see in my environment that I am more. And then you do the next one. Because as Eckhart Tolle says, life is not here to make you comfortable. Life is here here to help you grow. And once you get into this mind frame, allowing this, it is so much more fulfilling than stopping starting or trying to control a situation because you think you know best to allow that process to change you. I am totally on your side. I'd love to hear more about your experience with this. You can put it in the comments. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.